This is it. Oops. This is it, guys. The Elephone U Pro. So two huge aspects of this smartphone stand out a mile, and that is that Elephone have gone down the Qualcomm route and chucked in a Snapdragon 660 chip, which is absolutely great, but obviously it does increase the price. And the other feature is the curved screen. I'll go into more detail about specs and whatnot in a moment. Let's just get it out of the box. You can see the U Pro sort of embossed into the boxing. Let's put the phone to one side. Smart looking contents. A bit awkward to get out. <clears throat> Come on. So yeah, a couple of boxes in there. USB type C cable for charging, an adapter for your headphones or earphones, USB type C to 3.5 mil port, a super fast Elephone charger with outputs of five, nine and 12 volts. Super fast. You get a screen protector. It's not a tempered glass, it's thin. A SIM tray tool, a quick start guide and a silicon case which looks very much like Doodle Jump, the Android game you can get. Anyway, I don't like cases. I don't like screen protectors. It takes away the beauty of smartphones and the feel. But I know they're there to be protected, but you just got to give your phone a little bit of love. Here it is, still in the protective sleeve and it looks beautiful already. Oh, God, look at that beauty. That is a work of art. Really, really is absolutely gorgeous. <whistles> God, that feels so great. That feels excellent in the hand. It feels quite light, it's narrow, it's narrower than my Google Pixel, might be slightly heavier than my Pixel I think, but it still feels light, oh, that is gorgeous, smooth, look at the back, oh my god, that is incredible, look at that, unbelievable. Let's take a closer look at this beauty. Down this right hand side, beautiful curved edges. It has the volume rocker up and down and the power. See me in the reflection there, look. <laughs> and the bottom here, speaker, USB type C connector and microphone. This side of the phone is absolutely empty. Nothing there at all. And at the top there we have the SIM tray along with a tiny little hole which I believe is a microphone. The iPhone U Pro comes equipped with a 8 megapixel front facing camera and on the rear dual 13 megapixel rear camera. Accompanied there with the flashlight and a fingerprint sensor just below the bottom lens truly is a thing of beauty. I love it in this blue color. So on the SIM tray, you can have a dual SIM. The U Pro takes nano SIM, so you can have dual nano SIM and micro SD card. Uh, one great feature, if it's true, but it is on their website, 
is that the expansion for an SD card slot is supported for up to one terabyte. That is the biggest I've seen or ever heard of on a smartphone. So if you get a one terabyte SD card, whack it in there, you've got storage and storage coming out your ears. So I've been eagerly awaiting to see this beautiful, stunning screen in action. It is an AMOLED flexible display. Let's turn it on. And here we go. Okay, so it's time for me to set it up. A little bit of flicker in there, but that is purely from the camera. So I'm gonna set the phone up and get back. And here we have it, guys. The display in all its glory. Absolutely gorgeous. Flexible AMOLED display, 1080p, 18 by 9 screen ratio and curved edges. And you can see there, look, the icons just bending around the corner and disappearing. I like the interface on the Elephone. It looks pretty smart, quite neat. You flick up there and you have all your, your apps in the app drawer there. Also, the recent apps and the back button and the home button look slightly different, but obviously their um, their software buttons does look very very nice. Let's have a, look, a closer look at the the edge here. A lot just make out the edge there. Yep, you can just see that. So it is a curved screen, not just curved glass. So this six-inch smartphone comes with Corning Gorilla Glass 5. Very, very tough glass. And your finger just glides over that. It's really, really smooth. Really nice. 2160 by 1080p resolution. So this has six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. Plenty of storage and memory in there for running games and storing videos, pictures, and anything else that you desire. So this does come with the Snapdragon 660. Telephone have teamed up with Qualcomm for to have that chip installed, which is quite a game changer really for these um, smartphones, especially for Elephone. Always used MediaTek in the past. Uh, they've now used Snapdragon, which obviously has pushed up the price a little bit. It looks at the moment to be very much worth it. So it's running Android 8. Let's see if there's any updates available. Your system is up to date. Fair enough. They also have down here wireless update. And there is a version update here, which is a little bit odd. So there is an update through here, through the wireless update function. And you get a few themes, optimize the clock, new weather feature, optimize the camera, a new dynamic effect when receiving calls. The battery is 3,550 milliamps, uh, average size battery when you compare to um, some of the large batteries that some of these budget smartphones have nowadays, 3,550. I'm expecting decent battery life on this phone. I'm assuming the OS is optimized really well and the inclusion of the Snapdragon 660 should be better uh, battery performance as well. Let's take a closer look at that again. I'm obsessed. Absolutely obsessed and clasping it and grasping it with your hand like that. You can see my fingers and my palm are touching the edge of the screen. I don't think this seems to be having any impact on me still controlling it with my thumb. Um, so no palm rejection, which is good. Got the YouTube app open. As expected, it is 1080p, 60 frames per second compatible. It's on there. We should be able to yeah, pinch to zoom and fill. And yeah, you can. Jeez, oh, I really, really wish you could sit here now with your naked eye because the camera doesn't do it justice. 
It is absolutely brilliant. This is the best, the best screen I've seen on a smartphone since starting this channel. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. So much sharp detail. Fantastic colours. So vibrant. Yeah. Incredible, guys. Absolutely. Now, I'm hoping for good things on the camera. It has a dual rear camera, a 13 megapixel. Let's try this out, shall we? The live view seems quite smooth and when you're moving it around like that. Where are the settings? What do we have? GPS, 13 megapixel. High quality picture. You can choose storage as well, it's good. White balance, shutter sound. What's that? Oh, okay. So that's in picture mode at the moment. Let's take a picture of my little cameras there. There we go. Nice snappy sound. I love that. Very, very quick shutter speed. If we switch to video mode, what do we get? We can mute the microphone. HD quality. Wow, 4K. 4K UHD and 4K DCI. Okay. I'm just going to keep it at 1080p at the moment. Video high frame rate off. Okay, so you can have it at 20 frame, 120 frames per second, 60 frames per second. I'm just going to keep it normal, but it should be 30. I'm not going to play around with it too much. Let's get a little bit of footage. Ding. Ding. Okay. The LFO New Pro video capabilities. Sound quality, video quality, smoothness. Colour accuracy. Is it any good? Let me know what you think, guys. Okay, so let's switch back to camera mode. Front facing camera. What do you get? 8 megapixel. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So it's to video mode, front facing. 1080p, front facing video, here it goes. Seeing front facing camera on the LFO New Pro. Right in front of the window, natural light coming in. Looks great, looks great on here. Light behind me, a little bit dark there. Okay, all that's good. Okay, I'm just testing the fingerprint sensor, just getting it set up. Okay, let's see. Ready? Okay. Pretty quick. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Not as quick as the Mi Note 3 though. But it is quick. So we also have NFC on the LFO New Pro. So you can use Android Pay. It's also wireless charging. Let's see if we can get hold, hold of a wireless charger to test that. But you can wireless charge on the U Pro. Navigation key. Hide navigation, uh, hide navigation keys and use sliding gestures. So you can change the order of navigation keys as well. I'll keep it like that. So now the navigation bar has gone. You slide up for home, like that lot. Slide up for home and slide up for the app drawer. Recent apps, 
slide up there. So you don't need the navigation bar to go back, slide up like that. Tidies up a little bit down there, doesn't it? It looks a little bit tidier without the navigation bar. Uh, it's just getting used to the fact of having to slide up there. But pretty neat feature. Now you notice face unlock is not present at the moment on the LFO New Pro. But I do believe that feature is coming with an update. So guys, this pretty much concludes my unboxing and quick look at the LFO New Pro. Very, very impressed at the moment. First impressions are excellent. Gorilla Glass 5 AMOLED flexible screen, flexible display. Looks absolutely stunning. It really, really does. A lovely glass back here. Those reflections, that colour is beautiful. It really, really is. But the hype is definitely there. It is definitely real. That display is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at it. Obsessed. Super. Guys, any questions? If I haven't covered anything that you want me to, you might have a few questions about, then please comment below. I'll answer them as best as I can. I'm going to go away for a good week, like I normally do, and test this smartphone and come back with you with a full thorough review, testing all the important parts for anyone using a smartphone. Battery, camera, performance, GPS, Wi-Fi, mobile data, gaming, and a few other things. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Thank you.